selling sugar daddies in prison, selling pen pals because they don't like to be called sugar daddies. They're pen pals, but they're sugar daddies for the record. Let's be real. Um, yeah, it's a whole business. It's a whole ass business. It is so sassy for a man to bite into his food. Like, that is the most sassy shit ever. Like, as a man, you need to be eating with a fork or a spoon. Like, why are you biting into your food? So at this point, Robbie realizes what's happening, that his wife is poisoning him. But he's still stationed in Germany and wants to report the crimes in the U.S. So he pretends to keep drinking the coffee. Robbie told investigators he prepared his coffee every night, so all he needed to do in the morning was turn on the machine. Hey. <laughs> boy, everything breaking down, boy! Even the computer said, it's a yeah, hell of a yeah. I'm trying to be outside. <laughs> the computer said, I'm trying to be outside. The computer said, man, it's hot in here. Oh, that was Chris Brown sending his tech <laughs> team in there. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, you ain't going to do that to me. I ain't only messing up the meeting groups. <laughs> I'm messing up the podcast, too. Chris, Chris said, no. No. <laughs> yeah, man, now that we're back up and running. Let me get to our opening monologue. Welcome to Dish Joint Podcast. As usual, we got a great show for y'all tonight. Yes, sir. We got our five viral videos to react to. Make sure you uh, drop a like as you come in. Like, comment. Make sure you drop a comment. Subscribe. Set your five dollar ass down before we make change. Goddamn. Gracious. <laughs> what do you guys say? Nothing. Because you know, you know, your old hey. smart mouth. I love. I, I, I come in peace. Yeah. Remember showing up, I ain't no $5. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you I come in peace. You. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, well, ain't nobody talking about you, black woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, wait, let me get the first video set up, man, since we already wasting time with the computers that went down. Let me get the first video set up. Let me mm -hmm. get this. Now remember, thing. it's warm outside, so don't get relapsed on. Yeah, don't let us <laughs> start relapsing on you hoes. <laughs> who knows? Wait, wait, who who in the building? Who in the building? El Plago in the building, y'all? Come on, stop El Plago. Man, El Plago. Now, now, now hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shout out to El Plago, definitely. You talking about some Como what? Como estas? Como estas? Nah, what's number seven? Oh, I mean, you taking it too fast, dog. <laughs> <laughs> how you know? How you know that? <laughs> you just skipped over the numbers. Now you know how to speak to people in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. We thought you, you was you was coming back with a whole bunch of Spanish. Yes, I do have my Spanish. Did you say leche? No, I didn't. Oh. Not what I said. Leche is uh is hold up, hold up, leche. Is man? No, she, it is she, not. She is not looking it up. Hold up! No, I'm not looking it up. I'm not looking it up. <laughs> hold up! Look. Leche is not man. I know manzanas is is apples. Mm, that's <laughs> man, man, that, no. What? Yes, it is. No, that's not how that's said. Don't manzana Man, is manzanas. Okay, we just going. Thank you, quick. It's milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, Leche is milk. No, okay. Quick All in right. the building, y'all. Uh -oh. Quick in the building, y'all. Let's give it a quick. Yeah, I mean. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So let me ask you something. What is mandingo? Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, so woman, you heard me, Mandingo. That you don't have. Whoa, damn. <laughs> well, you said fuck. something that you don't have or I don't have. <laughs> something you don't have. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> on, the mic, on the right night, they might get diddy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Yes. I'm just joking. I don't need no rumors out there no. talking about, oh, yeah, Lowe's Lose be on the diddy side. No, no Lowe's don't be on the diddy. We do not condone the actions <laughs> of one Sean Combs here <laughs> at this Sean podcast. Oh, man. So let's get to the first video. So, what we got? What we got? We got the first video. First video of the night. A Karen flips on Marshawn Lynch for cussing during his kids' football camp. Does she have a point? We'll see. Well, you know, uh, quickly, it, is it cussing or cursing? Uh, for us black people, it's cussing. Mm -hmm. cursing. cursing is when you at work. Oh, oh, please don't shit. be cursing. But when we, <laughs> as soon as 530 hit, man, I'm about to cuss these jokers <laughs> out. I'm about to cuss these jokers <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, let Peanut start this off right here. Yeah. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh, let's go. Oh, it's every one of them. Alright, that's okay. No, my stuff is okay. It's not okay. I didn't say that. Maybe you should just let them know. But they're all in here. Is there a man here with you? Okay, so. 
do. I cut some I cut some fun up on some. So look, I cut some up. All right, that's okay. No, my stuff is here. Is there a man here with you? Is not a man here with you? What does that matter? My son is leaving. I don't care. It's my son. Did you bother to do? They all said that. I'll tell them that if they're not doing what they need to do, then yes, there's customers. If it takes that amount of time for when I tell a kid to do something and they're not doing what they're supposed to do, then there is consequences. Like push-ups. Like running laps. Like telling Away from your like drill. telling them to get out of my drill if they're not participating. Get the Doing out of right, drill. get the out of my drill. Get the the out of my drill, or whatever it takes to get my drill. Oh gosh! Look, first what? of all, first of all, as an ex-football player, and I played on many different levels, mm -hmm. including the professional level. Mm -hmm. Some of the shit you see. Man, a lot of moms wouldn't handle that. But right. when I was in high school, they, they coaches grab you. When, I'm sorry, I started in the Pee Wee League. Coaches cuss you out. They grab you, your face mask. They'll smack you upside your head. Even through college, yes. my college coach used to smack us upside the head, grab our face mask, especially look, when you do something my, stupid. My uh, my oldest son was in football for years, and look. The way they were cursed, first of all, them kids be cursing too. What? But the way that them, them but it, it toughens them up because it's like at the end of the day when they in that, that whole, the game and they competing against another team, them kids is going to be cursing at them too. Yeah, so, for real. Look, but see, this is the thing. Like the kids, they, they know, they know what it is. The, the fathers know what it is. But also at the same time, you never know what environment or how they, how they raise their child. We also don't know how old the little boy was. So... I mean, you know, we, we got to take it with a little bit of grace. So the little boy maybe not be used to the that, cursing. That little so boy that could be two be years it. old. Guess what? You're going to get used hey, to that cursing on that football field. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, if they was under 10, I could understand. Anything over 10, no, and this is no disrespect to, to the ladies out there, but we know that women are way more emotional than men. So she's seen her son crying and... She just started going off the deep end. But mm -hmm. I think she might have been missing the principle. Your son is crying. Okay, because he got cursed out. Fine. But he got cursed out. Why? Because he wasn't following directions. Right. So mm -hmm. you have to look at the principle of it. Yeah, the way he may have done it might not have rubbed you the right way. That's fine. But the principle was your son was not listening. Because guess what? The other kids who were listening, guess what they didn't do? They didn't get cursed out. Mm -hmm. So it's all about understanding the principle. She didn't understand that. She saw her son crying, got emotional. Whereas me as dad, if I see my son crying, hey, come here. Let me talk to you. Uh, listen, was you following directions? Oh, yeah. That's why you got to holler that. Yeah. So, all right, get yourself together. And I tell my sons now, my son, my 10 year old, he is very emotional. And I tell him, when he on that soccer field, that basketball court or whatever, you're never going to be good being emotional. So if you Listen, can't control yeah, your emotions, exactly. you're not, you cannot play sport. Sports is a very, you have to be disciplined. You can't worry about the crowd, your family, yep. that you got to be locked in. And if you can't be emotionally stable, you would never be good. Look, it, so, starts, it starts. Look, let me, let me add, being in that position, it, the boy wasn't crying because he got cursed out. Or because of the cussing, he was crying because he knew he fucked up and he was in bed. And he's upset. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Let me. It'd be grown men out there crying. Yep. Because you, you know that you, you will be at, at this position. And maybe she at just this didn't particular understand time that part. Play, see, and you weren't there. That's because one thing. That's one mom thing. Should, mom shouldn't something. be out there. No, let me tell you something. I was one of the moms because I used to play football in my tomboy years. If, if one of the coaches says something to my son, I just sat back and I'm like, mm. And then at the end of the practice, I said, so why the hell did you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, why would you give me that? <laughs> so wait, so here out? it is. I'm was reiterating you, with the coach. <laughs> was, was you out there with, with no shoulder pads on? <laughs> First of all, I played street football. So we was in football? the street. Yes. Yes, without shoulder pads, without without all the protection and stuff. So just yes. Teddy's just jumping all over. <laughs> <laughs> she got a football in his hand. Teddy's just going they like that. to strip you. They, 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 you getting assaulted? <laughs> they get <this> football. <laughs> you know what? Oh you, know, you can't make me fumble. They try to hit your titties for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> my mom, listen, my mom went to one practice. My dad was sick. My mom went to one practice. I played defense. I tried to jump over the the pile to t to tackle somebody. 
my mom ran on the field. Y'all doing that now again? <laughs> I'm a buck seventy five at forty. So at ten, I might be. I might have been sixty pounds. So it's like y'all did that, my foot, my son. She took me off the field, took me home, and my dad had a heart issue, so he couldn't yeah. go to the. He said, "Sharon, I love you." You have you are never going to not another nothing. Like Sharon, Sharon you, you, out of pocket. you messed you out of up. Pocket, Sharon. Yeah, yeah. You have you have officially been banned from. Oh, you can't gosh. go to a scrimmage. You can't go to nothing. You didn't embarrass my damn son out there. Take him off the field because you was right. being emotional. And from that point and so on, now she, the kids gonna talk about yeah, you. So from that point on, game. she nah, yeah. and that was it because she didn't understand. She just saw me flying over the pile, thinking somebody was doing something to me. Yeah, that, well, hold before we get to the comments, let me give a shout out to my man, my man Kles right there. Kles, Kles up there, seventy two, our member. Yeah, you know there. Shout out to shout our, out member. To our member. Hey, my man, right there. Yep. You know how you doing in your ear? <laughs> you know how we doing, Philly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who else in the building? We got El Boogie in the building. Y'all, El Boogie, just El Boogie in the building. You know, man. Hey, man. We doing the baseball thing tomorrow, and I know you coming because you said you was coming. So don't be fifty two no, faking I me out. No, I said I was exempt from baseball because of the cookout. El Boogie, she coming with? She coming tomorrow? With me. She coming ride with me tomorrow? El Boogie. <laughs> First of all, I'm not riding with anybody. I'm going to drive and I meet you there because when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. I'm not waiting for nobody. <sighs> just like a black man. Happy, happy this Juneteenth. This one to be difficult. Happy this Juneteenth. One be, this one to be difficult all the time. <laughs> Slaves got freed on Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. All right. All right. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Well, let's go to the comments. So we got uh, comment number one. How are you going to tell Marshawn Lynch how to football? You Put said them bring kids in golf then. Listen, oh my gosh. Listen, at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand he does his thing his way. He was a professional football player. He won a Super Bowl. So he's played at the highest of heights. You can't get higher than the Super Bowl. So mm-hmm. he's done it. He's really, really done it. And he really would have won the game, but we understand the politics of all of that. So, again, like, you got to understand this man is trying to teach them how to get to where he's been. He, he, You can't say, well, you ain't never make it to the big game. No, he did, and he sh- he showed up. So it's like, you got to understand that. And that's why I respect him for saying, do you got a man? Because, again, he didn't want to argue with that lady. She's a female. And you mm-hmm. see his size. He's a big guy. Right. So he could already, he's, he's big, he's black, he got that's braids. He's already intimidating. That's so. why he asked her. Exactly. That's where's your man? Asked, where's the, yeah, where's your man? Your man? Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Right, because this could have went left. Oh, he intimidated me. He made me the, and it's like, no, sweetheart, I'm trying to understand Listen. But see, you know what? I didn't really think that it was more so her. It was the other lady in the background. What does that got to do with anything? Because no, the lady with the green. Because yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I want to talk to your man. Because the actual mom, she was listening. She seemed to be understanding when he was explaining to her. It was more so the lady in the background. I guess maybe the grandmother, whoever. No, that was her kid. She said, it's my son. That lady with the green. And the- but I think she said, that's my son. Yeah, yeah. Well, your son need to play golf. Just like the comments. Look, said. take him to go play some basketball. What's yeah. that pickleball they got now? Well, go pickleball. Swimming. You know what? <laughs> he do swimming. Ain't nobody going to holler at him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, comment number Look, two. that's their sport anyway. Swimming. That's you just because we need to stop it. Comment number two. I'm just saying. Don't sign up for beast mode if you ain't ready. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because every man know about Marshawn beast mode. You're not going to put your kid in Kobe cam and think that he ain't going to get, you know, God rest his soul. If Kobe was alive, he ain't just letting you slack around and know. He's right. He's going he to be on your top. Yeah. So it's like you got to understand what you're signing up for. And That's you want saying. your kids to be great. You know what? And you signed them up for this program like... That's just like when you send them up, to, uh, sign them up for school. You want them to go to the best school so they can learn the best. So therefore, this is the same principle. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Listen, if, if that if that was my son, I'd be out there. I'd be in, I'd be in the bleachers with a belt. Every time he forgot, I just wave that belt. <laughs> I guarantee he ain't dropping no passes, no nothing. But that's why he out, he out that joint. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the kids Whoa. are so soft is these days because you can't holler at them. You can't do this. You can't do that. And it's like, you yeah, got to understand to be mm-hmm. great. It takes a lot. To, it, it takes a lot to be good. You know, the, the odds of making the NFL is like one in a couple hundred million. Like, that's the odds. To get in there, so, so it's got, like you got a better chance of being a trash man. You got a tra- you got a better chance of being <laughs> successful. Sanitation. Only say, let's say sanitation. Sanitation. 
sanitation oh. worker. <laughs> Trash man. Let me be collect- politically Sa- correct. Yes, sanitation right, worker. So <laughs> For our sanitation workers out there, we appreciate you because you do come and get our stuff every week. Yes, yes, I appreciate you too. But stop le- <laughs> leaving the, the the trash truck juice and on my. It's not them. It's the it's the, it's the uh, machines. Uh, like, my, well, can my, you make sure my yeah, trash I mean, can gets back in front of my house? Yeah, I don't want to go thirteen houses down to get mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All, my lid has been been going a long time ago. <laughs> Somebody stole your shit. <laughs> my lids are going. <laughs> Somebody still got her. Going. Somebody got her lid. That was, so a, look, that was a raccoon. <laughs> that's a comment number three. Marshawn, you are one hundred percent correct, uh, and he is. Yeah, and he is. This, this football, man. This ain't baseball. No, yeah, I football love baseball. Is a context football, sport, football man. is a football. You gotta be tough. What you gotta be? <laughs> football is a car crash. Man, every play, every play is a car prepared. crash. Yep. Uh, are you okay over there? I think I saw a ghost. <laughs> the hell? Oh shit! The ghost following me. Ghost yeah. Following. <laughs> Make sure you I take know. him home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sneak a little out of boy? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she over there. So she was talking and then just stopped. <laughs> All right, listen. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you like, think. And subscribe and if you already did podcast. So are we at video number two? Let's number go to deuce. video number two. Look, so, Jalil, we not, we not going to do this whole Spanish thing, okay? Like, look, oh, I already yeah, exactly. told you. I already oh, told you. Oh, yeah, she y'all. was supposed to, she was supposed to <laughs> El Boogie, she was supposed to say it in Spanish, y'all. Yeah. I did. I said uno. Uno, uno what? Uno is one. Okay. Look, I said, that, look, first of all, they were trying to get me to do it last week. And I said, no, because I got something to prove to CJ. Not to Lowe's. It was to CJ. Now, nah, you got something to prove to CJ. <laughs> you, got, you, you got something to prove to everybody. Yeah. Look, so what's not a thumb yeah? I didn't say I knew all that. Oh, so okay. my business. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right. All right, look, look, you man. Tell me what it is. Listen, I know it. So I'm, I'm, I just wanted to see if you knew. Look, all I know is. <laughs> como estas? No, como estas? I know, como estas? Oh, wait, what was it? Uh. Stop it, CJ. You got me all. I'm, I'm just asking. <laughs> she all flustered. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, video, 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 video number two. Look, video soy, number two. soy honey dip oh, tea. What? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> soy honey dip tea. How I know speak my in numbers. Spanish and English. What? You make no sense. It sounds like you say you want soy milk. <laughs> but video number two. No, a female. They know what that means. Let me go to video number two. <laughs> Please. Dos. <laughs> so look, we got a female speaks on men who bite their food. Oh my god. She bite says men food. need to stop eating men need to uh. start eating with a fork. What? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even seen the video and it don't make no damn sense. I don't know, but let's find out. You know what I'm saying? Dos. Yeah. Look, that's practice. Podcast. Because if he bite on his food, then that means they're just going to show me how he going to bite on me. Whoa. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it is so sassy for a man to bite into his food. Like, that is the most sassy shit ever. Like, as a man, you need to be eating with a fork or a spoon. Like, why are you biting into your food? Like, that is so sassy. Like, you holding the chicken like this, like biting into it like you one of the girls or something like that is so zesty like niggas that bite into their food sis if you bite into his food baby you need to kick him wait a minute well bite bite wait a minute wait a minute well what what can we do we we can't eat hot dogs balls glizzies (laughs) we can't bite into our food (laughs) we can't do nothing that's what i was saying damn that's why i said it takes Women need to unite and separate themselves from Look, those. Look, she women. don't speak for me. I, okay, I'm just saying. I don't want no man that's gonna eat some chicken with a damn fork. So you can continue to eat the chicken with your with your fingers. I would love to see that because what I'm looking at is your tongue and your. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm looking at how you oh, biting it. This showing after dark. <laughs> Patreon coming soon. This showing after this. Hey, coming soon. <laughs> keep on biting. <laughs> keep, we'll get you, we'll get you, keep on biting. Keep on biting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But she want to know what that mouth do. Diddly. Hey. <laughs> Listen, I went quick. As soon as I heard her voice, I was like, oh, here we go with one of these. Oh, God. I already know she's going to say something stupid. <laughs> uh, like, oh, wait. <laughs> zesty. The word zesty, sassy, soon as I'm like, oh, God, that's the uh, the ghetto girl uh, vernacular. But y- hold up. Did y'all check out her nails? Does she have like little? No. 
gummy bears or something on no, it? No, she had a little dummy bears on her hand. <laughs> it was just a whole bunch of dumb shit hanging yeah, on That just her. doesn't make sense. I mean, sense. listen, the thing that kills she, she me, I mean, wh- what what is my people coming to? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, who is thinking about, who is sitting down just thinking of this dumb shit? Dumb. Yeah, don't get me wrong. They have this whole etiquette thing for females. That's like, not okay, etiquette. Yeah. I mean, that's... But, that that, but not, not for men. Like, that. okay, so if I go somewhere, depending on the location or, you know, where I'm at, Okay, yeah, I'll eat some chicken with with a fork. I'm not but eating a chicken. I'm eating fork. chicken with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it. the chicken off the bone with the fork. So yeah, that's the whole you know polite thing to do. I'm Arizona, breaking that chicken off the bone with my mouth. With and my the hands. same thing with a burger or something like that. If I get a burger, but well, you eat a burger with a fork. Depending on depending on how classy the place is, yes. If I see yeah. a burger with a fork, I'd be like, look at this, this girl's I'm a gonna, goddamn fool. Look, I'm going to cut it up. Ain't yes. no classy place to be serving no burger. Hey. <laughs> ain't no classy place supposed to be serving no damn burger. So it ain't classy. If you got burger <laughs> on your menu, then you ain't classy to me. You got me You got me messed up. In the end of the day, listen here, ma'am. We do, we, we've we been working with our hands since the beginning of time, Okay. Do you want us keep building going, you want us building buildings hands. with uh, gloves on our hands on so we don't hands. get our nails messed up? Like come on, miss. Yeah. Like you just sound crazy. Yeah, those 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 fingers and those hands. Exactly. They, 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 they do, do a lot of work. Do you want a man eat your coochie with a with a fork? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that joke. He got tied in that. Yeah, I mean, he didn't put that nagging on. Yeah, I mean, dig it. <laughs> Coochie with a fork is wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, boy, I'm going to stick that clitoris with this motherfucking fork. He uh, in there with yeah. that fork got it looking oh, like a Cinnabon. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Oh, well, that dude will give it our hysterectomies, <laughs> man. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God, you caught me on fire with that one. <laughs> Damn. I mean, you go to the doctor, so I'm a doctor, well, what happened? He, he ate me with a fork, doctor. Oh, God. <laughs> he tore yeah. my shit up. <laughs> <laughs> that made no damn sense, man. Eating a goddamn look, man. I'll, come I'll, on, look, I'll tell him to try man. it next time. Listen, it's out of I'll tell him to try it next time. And I'll, I'll, try it next I'll, time. I'll let you know what you old freak <laughs> nasty. Boy, I knew I boy. Oh, y- y'all see, y'all see, what we do it. Y'all see what we deal with every week. What do you do with the coochie fork afterwards? <laughs> hey. yeah. Do you put it back in your dishwasher? <laughs> or, <laughs> or you just throw the whole goddamn fork away? Look. Yo, that is crazy. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Damn. So you got a bunch of coochie forks laying around the house? Hold on. Hey, let it. let's stop deep. We ain't going to our house, Ed. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Well, I'm going to bring it home somewhere, y'all. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe y'all don't want her to bring a dish. Like, I got my own shit. I don't, maybe, I don't know what the fuck you feeding. Maybe y'all don't want her to bring a dish tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, we got, we got, we got Drella and Jim in the building. Let me get this. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. She said, I'm not eating there no more. Yeah, I mean. I don't know you want. <laughs> Got a lot of coochie no. boards in that, in that kitchen. No, listen, I'm. I, look, let me tell you something. I'm gonna need you to write everything you touch <laughs> that you put your mouth on in my house. I'm just joking. I'm no, just you can joking. take that with you. <laughs> like I said before, ten times out of ten, ain't nothing going on in my house. I'm going to his house. So, uh, oh yeah, oh, y'all coochie boards. Yeah, yeah. damn. Maybe spoons too. Hey. Oh man, brother. <laughs> Go get you some new silverware, my yeah. man. Got, got, got his mom got like your this. Grandma got, got his mom like this. <laughs> grandma <laughs> eating rice pudding. Like, what, what is this? What kind of dishwasher what kind of fluid? fluid? <laughs> what kind of dishwasher fluid? You what kind of seasoning did you put on this rice pudding? <laughs> yeah, hey, that's coochie, Grandma. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, look, that's, that, that's that special seasoning. That's oh, special damn. sauce. All right, look, let's go to the comment. <laughs> so, uh, comment number one. I swear we can't. Do no, I'm sorry. I swear we can't do nothing right. We can't, and that's the truth, boy. Man, let me tell you that man, we, we get screwed out of damn near everything now. I say all the time that we are literally we we on like a tightrope. We don't know what to do. We take you out. We we we, uh, we try to be proactive and take you out. We can't mm-hmm. take you here. Oh, uh, we 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 try to be proactive and. And like call you, First oh you calling too fast, you're too hype. And it's just too many rules. The women no, you, you, you gotta, the women's you gotta, rules is too of all, many. You gotta look at who you dealing with. That wasn't a woman right there that just spoke. So you gotta you gotta think about who you're dealing that, that with. Is it because that was a young buck? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. So like if you're dealing with a grown woman that's mature, 
She ain't going. That like, woman that didn't want to go to Cheesecake Factory, she was damn near forty. Oh my god. That lady was older. She yeah. wasn't a kid, so she and she didn't want to go to Cheesecake Factory. So it's like they all they come in all ages. Us, you know, you listen. Women know it's when it all boils down. It's only a couple things that we're looking for, and we don't care how it comes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, let's go to comment number two. So mm-hmm. comment number two says. This is getting scary how slow she is. No the fact. worst part is there's more. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> what I'm saying, it's like the walking dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. She come out say one thing, you just see the comments. Yeah, girl, yeah, girl. You're like, oh, damn, is that many of them? Oh, she got a whole entourage, right? <laughs> ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but you know what? A, a lot of these young girls think like that, man. I mean, that's what I just said. Like, I mean, she don't speak for me. So, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? She speaks for you. You'd be like, girl, you need to put them utensils to good use. <laughs> yeah, man. I do. I use more than just utensils. I'm I'm, I'm versatile with it. Oh, Patreon my God. After dark. <laughs> this joint after y'all. this arc. <laughs> Yeah, this joint after dark on Patreon coming soon. Yeah. A drill would say, ew. Yeah, she said, chill. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we got? Next comment. Next comment says, bro, how the hell do you eat hot wings? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? How, you, how are you going to eat hot wings with the fork? Man? I'm not picking them no fries with no fork. That's no. nasty. I eat fries with a fork. You're a woman. That's fine. But 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 think about it. if If I go to a restaurant and I see a man eating hot wings with a fork, that's just like, yeah. that's zesty. He's probably. I'm like, yo, my man, come on, man. <laughs> right. Yeah, <Gay-y. laughs> You gonna walk past and just steal it for him? Just Gay-y. take it out of his hand? No, I'm gonna ask Hey, 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 hey. No, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna grab that chicken. I'm gonna, gra- I'm gonna grab a piece of chicken out of his plate. I'm gonna look at his woman in her eyes around <laughs> sucking that bone. <laughs> yeah, you ain't be with a real man. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm a real man eat the chicken. I'm gonna say, excuse me, sir. Oh, what days do you have available to do hair? Because I know you have hair <laughs> My sister need a hair done. So, when well, you eating that wing, I know your hair dress. Yeah, yeah, that's a damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so listen make sure you drop a like drop a comment y'all tell us what you think yeah hey, so we go to the video number thing. number three Tris. 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 Yeah. Um, say it again Tris. say it again t say it again Tris. you gotta speak i gotta do like gia speak up <laughs> i can't hear it. speak up there we go god damn. god do i gotta scream yeah <laughs> We need Can to hear that. Hear me? We need to hear that Spanish. Oh gosh! You know what I'm saying we getting you in practice. So when you talking to them sugar daddies, <laughs> yeah, hey. I don't want no sugar daddy. He Let's, can't let me do tell you something. Me. Let me tell you something. A Stop. white man love when you talking Spanish in his ear. Hmm. Uh, who said that I want that? Uh, yeah, 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 put it in my butt. Man. Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Oh my bad. Did I let this oh. yeah, see? <laughs> this jaw after I'm, dark. Look, and I'm walking right out the door. <laughs> this jaw right after <laughs> dark. <laughs> Boy, you ever oh that man might like really lose it. And I'm out. Some extended hours. It's a holiday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you might go in deep into the night with this conversation. <laughs> Look, yeah, see, you know what, CJ? I think it's your fault. I didn't do anything. First of all, and I'm about to tell you why it's your fault. Because he tried to cut up with me last last week when in your absence. I was working. First of all, wait a minute. Let me finish my comment. Oh, I'm speaking. Oh the lady is Here speaking. Okay. Here so he tried to cut up last week. And every every angle, I kept getting at him. So therefore, now he's making up for last week. Now that you back. So how so is that my fault? First it's of your all. fault. Just in general. I got to put it on bro, somebody. First of all, bro. She asked me to adjust her mic. She wanted me to put the mic more towards her mouth. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> oh, so I, I can, pushed the I mic and she started, she started, she started grabbing so. it. It's like, oh, you're too friendly. Said, oh, oh, you're getting too friendly oh. with that mic, young lady. <laughs> you just trying to do the pepper. Uh, the pepper, pepper grinder. <laughs> <laughs> she, got, she got the mic's hair feeling violent. <laughs> so let's go to, First we got, all, we got, if, we got I'm, if I'm doing those type of movements, that's not a violation. You would actually like it. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh I don't know God. where we're going on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this episode went completely left. So we got. <laughs> so we got. We, we are at number video three. number three. Video number Woo. three. So let's go. Let me see. Let me make sure I got that. Video number three. Video number three. <laughs> How women make money by hustling pen pals in prison. Let's see. What? I'll repeat that. How women make money by hustling pen pals out of control. In prison. 
It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Selling sugar daddies in prison, selling pen pals because they don't like to be called sugar daddies. They're pen pals, but they're sugar daddies for the record. Let's be real. Um, yeah, it's a whole business, the whole ass business. So in a female prison, so say it's like myself and Sarah. Okay, so say I have a sugar daddy, a pen pal. Girls will get put on these sites by their friends, by their family members, by somebody on the outs. And when they get put on this site, you know, they'll write, they'll buy letters, they'll pay people for letters, they'll just, they'll fish, they'll throw letters, hundreds of letters out there until they get somebody to bite. When they get somebody to bite, they try to, there's like a whole process. There's a grooming process. They never want money. They never want you for anything. But eventually, they're going to fall in love with you. You're going to fall in love with them. You're the greatest thing that happened. They're going to, you know, make sure you're connected with their family. They're going to have their mom and their kid calling you so you feel like you're really in there. They're going to make it seem like every day on the phone talking to you is like the only thing that is the most important part of the day and the only reason that they live. They're going to make sure you know that they don't have any financial support. And then all of a sudden, one day they're going to have an emergency and it's going to be a little one like, hey, oh my God, someone stole my shoes. Can you send me a hundred dollars? I have to buy some shoes, you know, off the compound. Um, and then you're probably going to do it because you love her and you want to save the day. Um, she doesn't have any other support and she's stroked your ego, love bombed you and sucked you in major. So when that happens, then it's just going to be another emergency, another emergency. And then it's just going to be like, you know, well, you need things every week. You need hygiene. Everybody needs hygiene. So once all that happens, you're going to get into this cycle. And if you try to break it or get out or that week, you can't do it. Then eventually they're just going to get really pissed off and they're going to yank that love away. And you're going to be like fiending for it. And you're going to be like, <gasps> and then you're going to get scared and you're going to keep on doing you're going to find a way to get that shit done now when it's time for the person for the girl to go home because that is a good pen pal sugar daddy because he you know he's a good one then that girl knows she has zero intention of talking to him ever again so she's going to sell him to sarah so say i'm the one going home so i will tell sarah hey sarah i will sell you bob for two hundred dollars so because I'm about to go home. Like $200 will get me through the next two weeks and that's it. I don't need a lot, right? Or whatever. Um, so I'll be like, hey, so what will happen is I will start talking. Usually it's not like two weeks for the record. It's usually like um, the girl that's going to go home is going to sell her sugar daddy about a month before she goes home. So because you need a little time for this to happen. So she will start saying, oh, hey, babe, Sarah, you know, Sarah did this for me. Oh, Sarah's such a good person. Oh, my gosh, Sarah doesn't have any family. I wish you could meet Sarah. You're just going to love her. When she gets out, you're going to meet her. You're going to love her. You're just going to start really putting Sarah in the game. And then what's going to happen is one day. Sarah is going to get your information because she's going to contact you so that when I get out, she can contact you and she can talk to me on the phone because you and I are going to be together out there. So one day, Sarah is going to call and say, hey, I just wanted to call and make sure that this is the number and say, hi, you know, Jen said you were so great and everything. I can't wait till you pick her up so that, you know, you guys can have a great life and get married and ride off into the sunset and just know that I'll be calling you to talk to her. And Bob's like, okay, cool, whatever, whatever. Well, I get out. I never talk to Bob again. I don't see Bob. I don't even tell him the right day I'm getting out so that he can't show up there. Now, what's going to happen is a couple days later, Sarah's going to call and she's going to be like, hey, Bob, you know, can I talk to Jen? And Bob's going to be like, Jen, you know, she goes, she, she bailed. I don't know what happened. I'm worried. I, she, she used me or I'm worried or whatever. And that's when Sarah's going to be like, and she's going to turn on me and she's going to be like, I cannot believe that she did that. You're such a good guy. I can't believe it. And then eventually it's going to be, well, Jen only existed for us to find each other. Like she was the 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 path for us to find each other because we're the true love. And now you just got sold and then you'll get sold to somebody else when Sarah goes home. <laughs> you just got sold. In the words, uh, we started off this show with my man, Chris Brown. He has a song and it goes something like this. These hoes ain't loyal and we learn from the dudes but right. also at the end oh, of the day God, karma is a karma is a b like, you, what you think they, they in prison you think they worry about karma shit that I'm karma the came around person, three or four times look, by now i'm the type of person i'm going to think about okay you know if i do this what's going to come back at me like man i don't do stuff to people like that that's not nah, you cool. know but it, it, quick like you can't be playing around with people's emotions do you know people like really die of heart of heartbreak uh 
I'm a prisoner. I don't, I don't care. But <laughs> I'm a criminal. But I do wait, not wait, care. Wait, but Quick says she's seen this on Love After Locker. One dude gave up 90 grand. And the other boy name was Dante. He was a black boy. i never forget. My sister loves this show. And it, it got me hooked on it. This one episode, Dante was this black boy. He was like a engineer or something. He, made, he had money. And it was this white girl that was in prison. And he was doing the absolute most. She was. She had a whole nother dude and everything. He went up to the prison to get her. She wow. told him he was getting out. Dante was out there for 52 what? hours. Wow. She had already left. Oh, <laughs> that boy had already shame. picked up. I said, Dante is a damn fool. Yo, but yeah, I mean, this is the thing that kills me. I mean, I can't see it myself later because I have this, this anti-foolishness mechanism like the, at the end of the day when that ain't you work like to, you can't play me like, like that. you can't you, play me at like what that. point does a person but see maybe they're dealing with older people because at what point do you not realize like okay you know what this is you can't play dante and you, was and like you got sold dante was like 27 he wasn't old at all the girl wasn't old like These if you people are just if you watch love after lockup the majority of the people on this show are not it's one old here i think the one that gave up the 90k he was an older guy but the rest of these people, they 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 be young, thirties, twenties. Yeah, but look at it. If they're meeting these people on these apps, that's just showing how how I'm I'm trying to think of the verbiage. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Corny. <laughs> that's what you was trying to say, well, corny. Yeah, let's just say that because <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say something, but I gotta I gotta catch myself. I keep forgetting I'm on YouTube. We're on YouTube. <laughs> Shit, go ahead, say I can edit it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That that's that's just not that's just not cool because if they're on these apps, that's just basically they putting themselves out there like that. Lonely, I don't really lonely. But like quick say, what quick say? They're not old at I'm all. I'm telling you, they know so be old. And just like, like, said they're lonely I'm out so here, lonely. man. There's no way in hell I I can just talk to somebody over and over again. And I can't get a chance to rub up on your booty. That ain't because my thing is, it's like, hey, what? So, what? I'm just supposed right, to just text you today? Yeah, you know what I mean. Listen, girl, when I like, I, I, I want to see some titty like, nipples. <laughs> Sometimes I want to I want to feel the titty nipples. And then and then you on the 15 minute phone call and you constantly getting interrupted by the machine. Like, come on, this call is being recorded. <laughs> right, the federal <laughs> yeah. institution. So look, look, let's go to the comment. So we got uh we got one comment. One comment says <laughs> whole new, a whole new level of sprinkle sprinkle. <laughs> yeah, Dante, Dante, you need to stop it. He he is out of pocket. I just looked up his uh, Instagram and his Instagram name is Dante underscore Love After Lockup. Damn, for oh, real. Wow. He just he still he still looking for jail kid, girls. Like he out of control. <laughs> Dante, nah, he like Dante, he like that 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 jail. Like coochie. I gotta under, I, I'm just trying to understand how vulnerable <laughs> can a person really be to do something like that. Well, you gotta think about it. Some people are like socially awkward, so yeah, they think that like to reach out to these people. You in prison, so it's like you can't play me. You on the inside. It's it's, it's kind of like almost a guarantee. If you in prison, you a woman in prison, and Dante sends you something, what you gonna say? Ill f out of here. Girl, you in prison. All right, bye. It's, yeah. it's not like you could play me. So it's yeah. like it's like a win-win situation for people who have that social, you know, anxiety or a little socially awkward. Yeah, awkwardness. So wait, so so yeah, quick but says how 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 smart is it to just keep giving somebody your money though? That's just not listen, right, listen, listen, there's a lot of men that do that. Huh. Well listen, when I was in my pimp days, I used to tell the girl, yo, go get some money from your man and give it to me. Wow. Damn. You know what I mean? That was my <laughs> shit. And she would come back with it. Hell yeah. Look, like, cause, she, cause you know what I mean? She wanted, she wanted this mm. thirty seconds of fun. Oh, so wait damn, a minute, you man. was thirty seconds back then too? Damn, I ain't got time. <laughs> I, this is, I ain't got time. But this ain't gonna be an all nighter. He said, what? "Yeah, this ain't Burger King. This ain't Burger King, baby. <laughs> you can't have it the way you want it. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, you gonna get these thirty pumps? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I get up with you later on. Pumps and above. <laughs> pumps and above. <laughs> <laughs> so look, let's go to the next comment. So next comment says. I have two kids with a woman like this. Damn. See, <laughs> see, it's more than one Dante out there. <laughs> oh my God! Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, we got we got Dantes all over the place oh over here. Oh my God! Wait, let me ask you. So, when you was in prison, how many what? ten pounds did you? Oh damn! 
<laughs> okay, go ahead. When I, when, I, when I was in prison, what? How many pen pals did you have? Hey, none, because I wasn't there that long. But no oh, pen pals. Oh, shit, okay. So you were in prison. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Jesus, I was in there quicker than a snicker. <laughs> we got a damn ne- we got a damn, we got a damn felon in the room. We didn't even know. <laughs> hey, this is for entertainment purposes only, guys. What's your real name again? <laughs> Honey Dip Tea. Hey, look. Hey. We can't Peanut, look. make sure you lock up all the motherfucking jewelry. <laughs> we can't look that up on the internet. What's dip, your real name? Honey Dip T. That's all you need to know. Com. Inmate <laughs> You talking about my real name? Oh, that is uh, 87354. <laughs> so, look. So, next comment. <laughs> next comment is, you're telling me these women work, these men from prison, and I can't even find someone to date out here. Listen, you better get on the prison website and get it, get it popping. <laughs> Now, listen, you better, you better say you had the county lockup. Right. But see, you know what? It's the difference between just dating somebody or dating somebody that's actually worth it because it's like, okay, be worth it. Don't yeah. just be somebody that's just going to take up my time because I ain't got time for all that. Like, I, I'm not the type of person to waste my time. So, if you want to play games, just stay the hell away from me. They trying to find yeah. love in any way they, or any they way they can get it. They ain't trying to find old love. That ain't not? love. Why they keep finding love? Are you talking about what the women are trying to find love? They trying to find like a, uh, trying to find I thought they were trying to find like a quick hit. No, no, no these are people. Love. No, they not. Stop it, CJ. Hey, you know how many women date bums on the outside. So if you want to date a bum, that that he outside. But that's not What's the trying difference? to find love right there. What they doing? That's Why taking not? advantage of people. And no, I'm not saying the women. I'm just saying like the guy, the guys that are falling into the trap. They just trying to find love and just oh, doing okay, it in a okay, different way. Okay, Not the okay. women, yeah, they scammers. We know them. They they got yeah. a pocket, but it's just yeah. they trying to find it in their own way. I mean, can you imagine you coming up to the prison, you got your roses in, in one mm. hand, and you waiting for her to come out, find out that she Go. she got she got released like Long two months boy. ago. You know what I mean? And now I'm sitting in the in the in the little visiting room eating a cheeseburger out of a vending machine. <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all, you won't even get to the visit that far to the visitor room if the person's not even there as an inmate. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. This is this is out of pocket. Yeah, but I mean, either way, listen, they got played because they want to get played. Ain't even, no way. Because at some point, nah. some like, come on now. Everybody has an intuition. I know we we talk every week about women's intuition. Men but they do choose. Too. They choose. To Men do Love too. So at some point, there's some kind of red flag telling you, or something in your spirit telling you, like, look, something ain't right about this. Listen to it. Hey, love but is either way, blind. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. You know what I mean? Yep. Are you a pen pal, or how? Or or have you ever been a pen pal? Don't become a Dante. Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, don't be a Dante. <laughs> Ashante, women, y'all, y'all Shantes. That's what y'all are. Ashante. Don't be a Shante or a Dante. <laughs> well, see, well, see, the men prisons. It be men knocking off the. Uh, the female correction officers. Yes. I know. And they are, they, are, they be busted. I mean, some of the busted jokes. No kind oh, of listen, God, yo, listen. If I've been down 14 years, <laughs> you taking care. what I <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Listen, you got you don't have a Y chromosome, don't you? Okay. So then let's let's, let's make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We're gonna make it happen. I understand, yeah. fellas. <laughs> I right, understand. Look, Look, them, so. them chicks be they be they be in everybody's face. Hey, hey. That's I, I, I can't trust to do with me. Like, I'm dealing with somebody that's locked up and you coming out, mm mm. No, I locked need you to take up, every test under the sun. Out. They won't let me out. I'm mm. locked out. Oh. Shout out to Aka. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go video number four. <laughs> Quattro. Oh, okay. shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to believe that she will not shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he not talk about me, y'all. Uh, no, not tonight. So, exactly. Not tonight. <laughs> so just, just you it's know, just watch podcast. yourself. Watch your mouth. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. If you live with Mr. McRae, you cannot return to that residence. Oh, but how do you just gonna tell me I can't go home? Now? What? How are you gonna tell me I can't go to my home? I just did. Well, I bet I do. Well, then you're you're in contempt, young lady, and you've got thirty days. So you're not Bye. going. To, you're not what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get back! Get back! Hey, you get, get back! Get back! That's another thirty days. That's sixty days. So what? 90 days. So? 120 days. Okay, and? 180 days. No! Get off, get off me! Get your head off me, man. Come on. What else you got to say? Oh, nothing. 
We'll talk in six months when you're ready to come back for your case. I ain't I got money. That's 200 days. You got anything else to say, Ms. Perks? That's 300 days. You know what? <laughs> Yo. She oh, I am. I gotta get, I gotta get Ms. Perks. Miss Perks, Perks, no, Perks must have been on the place. So she <laughs> is tripping. Either that or she living way better in that damn jail cell than she out in the streets. She get those three tripping. meals and three hot meals. Three hot, they know it's Look, three hots in the car. Three hot meals. She got free rent. She ain't paying nothing. She got some place to sleep. Look, she probably living better in that jail than she probably she lives like, on the street. What? How you gonna tell me I can't go home? Miss Perks was she drunk. She got no home to go to. She said, and <laughs> yo, she was taking them girls like on a chin. Oh, right. And you know what's so funny? So look, look. In one in one of the comments that I didn't clip, they was like, "Well, a judge can't do that." The yes, they can. I read, and I'm, I read it yesterday. Yes, yes, they can. It's a they certain, can hold you up to six certain, months. Say it's a certain uh, yeah. threshold, but yeah, that's why they start low yeah. to see if you're going to be. See on if you're going to keep acting. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, I've never seen nobody that's going to keep keep talking crap. Like she just kept talking. Like at the end of the day, if you saw that he done added time on three different times, that's time for you to shut the hell up. Like Elle said, she wanted all the smoke. <laughs> he definitely <laughs> wanted all the smoke. She <laughs> didn't care. <laughs> she was real yeah, thanks man. to him. Well, Miss Perks, how you gonna tell me I can't go home? And she, he said, and you, you, want, you got anything else to say? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's go to the comments. So, the comment said, "This judge handed those days like Uno. Right. See, he hit her with a bunch right. of draw fours. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> he draw yeah, four see, hold up. Speaking of draw fours, we were talking about that last week, CJ, when you were gone. So, yeah. see, CJ, he just he just stacked them. See, you can't stack them, but he hey, did. Hey, hey, you just did. <laughs> The nah, judge nah, did. Nah, I mean, he did. Y- Yana did. <laughs> yes. The judge. So yeah, I got some. Like, I got some. I got some for that ass. <laughs> well, then what? Nick, next comment was says this judge is out of order. Nope. No, he's That's not. what ain't wrong. Nope. The judge, a judge can do that. No, a judge she, can actually yep. do it up to six months. Well, she, she is is about respect. I mean, as regardless of whether you don't like what the judge is saying or not, like come on, like just chill. At the end Some of the just day, don't know, chill. Like, Don't you, know, you want you, you was you was mad because he told you couldn't go to that specific location, but the object is to go home. Right. So okay, you couldn't go there, but I but, don't want to go back there. So I don't, you yeah. said where? Oh, I can't go to one one two Canyon Road. Okay, I yeah, I'm figure it out. Yeah, but all right, I ain't going back that way though. She she was out of control. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she definitely was. It, what? Can't it, get what? mad at judge. Nah, yeah, but listen, me. I'm like, yes, sir, Your Honor. I would be right. in there almost damn near like a slave. Like, Your Honor, you don't know if I went home or not. What you say there, sir? You said, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. I can't go to. Look, I ain't house. doing all that now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing all nah, that now. I don't want to go in there. Look, That's the real I know lady. how to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I know how to keep my mouth shut. She was tripping. Is that is that oh, all the time? This joint after dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it comes back. Don't be selfish now. At least no. he can get a reach around. Look, first of all, oh, I'm far from selfish. <laughs> far, far from selfish. Oh, when it shit. comes to that. Wait, how many women know about reach arounds? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to put that out there. She <laughs> says she's a giver. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we got quick. Let's say had work in the court. Had, having worked in the course and having created many contempt cases a judge most certainly can and will give you exactly. the business so we, yes they will we, we got it from a, uh, an actual subject matter expert so mm-hmm. for all y'all that's watching don't be like Miss Perks <laughs> please <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean so, so the last comment was she showed him. <laughs> she showed him what? How? Yeah. She showed him nothing. Yeah, she like, look, she went back to her cell talking shit, I gave that yeah, she went back. I, I gave him a piece I of my mind. Yeah, like, then, mother- and then you also got another six months. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, like, come on, that like that that trade off just doesn't make look, sense. Look, to look, me. Sully like <laughs> shit, you gave him the business, huh? When you getting out? <laughs> this summer. Twenty twenty five. I'm getting out this summer. <laughs> but I gave him the business. Uh, he ain't going to never do that again. <laughs> Look, at okay. the end of the day, he get to go home and sleep in his comfortable bed. Every night. You know what I mean? Well, Adrian, listen, I, look, I'll be in front of the judges damn near every day. I don't play with them. I do not play. Yes, sir, Yana. No, sir, Yana. Amy like this, huh? 
I will. I apologize. <laughs> I'm trying to go home. I, I mean, I'm trying to go home. <laughs> oh, believe me, I do. I apologize. I need the food and the yams, and it ain't in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. So, look, look, let me tell this this quick story. When I, when I was locked up in my youth, in my youth, it's long, long, long Oh, when you talk about me, I'm a felon, CJ. This is news to me. I didn't know this part. Yeah, exactly. And you sitting right next to him. Hey, he exactly. probably got his shake right there in the chair. Look, either <laughs> way. So look, let's go to video number five. What I we know. got? Hold on. No, 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 I no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 uh, Trace is not Spanish. I didn't say Trace. So how did you say it? I said Cinco. So no, no, no. Cinco. What's number three? We're going to Cinco. Exactly. We're on Cinco. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, the ch- quick, the Chi-Chi? Yes, the Chi-Chi. Oh, the Chi-Chi with the, 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 uh, was the, it, the, the was a goddamn delicacy. I'm Look, telling the you. the Doritos with the uh, no, oodles and noodles. No, yes. no. It's, it's Women, cheese, cheese, curls. cheese curls. That's what it is. Cheese, cheese curls, curls inside uh, with oodles, the oodles, noodles. noodles. Yes. Yeah. I ain't never spent uh, 32 seconds in jail, but when my cousin made me that chi chi, I said, ooh. Man, that's a heart bang, attack. Bang. That y'all was banging. That's ain't. a heart attack waiting to happen all day. How they did y'all get so creative? Things. What? Look, Listen, they got they be, no choice. Look, you be in that joint. You be, they iron clothes up in there, man. You yeah. Be, what? Let me my tell you, they get creative. He stripped the 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 uh the extension cord. Hooked it up to the battery and put it in the toilet and it started bubbling. I said, Oh, y'all got a whole goddamn <laughs> situation <laughs> in here. <laughs> Not <laughs> only a hot plate, they got the whole goddamn <laughs> oven in that joint. Mm. <laughs> so they got steam coming up on this joint. Damn. <laughs> this is real yeah, they definitely do. They uh-huh. got no choice. Hey, well, hey, you know what I mean? That's why I understand. It's like, y'all, they do all that in there. Like, why don't you put your, your brain to work outside instead of getting in trouble all the time? Because that, that's too much like right. But either way, video number five. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> she poured bleach in her husband's coffee to get rid of it. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. God. Credit Are long crime. Oh, no, that's crazy. <laughs> Man. ID channel. Yeah, either mm. way. And he can taste that. Put something in there that podcast. he can't taste. Oh. Yeah, hold on. Let me set this up before I tell Peanut. Let's go. Let's go. So at this point, Robbie realizes what's happening, that his wife is poisoning him. But he's still stationed in Germany and wants to report the crimes in the U.S. So he pretends to keep drinking the coffee. Robbie told investigators he prepared his coffee every night. So all he needed to do in the morning was turn on the machine. But between the evening when Robbie would prep his coffee and the following morning when he turned on the coffee maker, Melody snuck in and poisoned the water. Here you can see it on video. Melody checks to make sure Robbie has already prepped the coffee maker and then grabs something from under the sink before pouring it into the machine. That's something that Melody grabbed from under the sink was bleach. By June 2023, the family had returned to the United States, where Robbie was stationed at an Air Force base in Tucson, Arizona. He set up more cameras there, too, that capture Melody in the act, pouring something into the coffee pot and looking over her shoulder to see if anyone's watching. Some of the cameras were disguised as fire alarms and placed in the laundry room and kitchen area. Melody is caught on camera multiple times, appearing to pour bleach in the laundry room, walking into the next room, and then pouring it into the coffee maker. tests, Robbie shows how soapy the coffee maker becomes when water is added. Then 
is the strongest it's been. I've been thinking about it at least seven, eight times. It's still very sexy, bubbly, soapy. She was off today. She didn't work. Today's the most that I'm having to clean it. <laughs> Whatever's in there is a lot of it. And on top of that, he says he could smell the bleach coming from the machine. Looks like the bleach has a new location. That purple lid is now over here. Let's see what it smells like. No smell. Doesn't smell. I clean this thing out after I test it. This back is very slippery right now from after I rinsed. It smells like bleach. Melody was arrested on July 18th and later indicted by a grand jury for first degree attempted murder. This week, she pleaded guilty to lesser charges. It indicates her honor that July 11th. Uh, that you intended to harm, um, is it Robbie, Robbie Johnson, uh, by adding um, or mingling poison or chemical compounds to water to your drink? How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Because I, mean, I, I saw this on the news. But it was uh, they were living overseas. Yeah, he, he wanted to catch her. He wanted to get her in the, in the and prosecuted States. in the United States. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, why he kept it. He kept it going day, on. So let's just say if he did stop putting or, or stop prepping the coffee the night before, she probably was going to try to find another means to try to poison him or get rid of him some other kind of way. So that might have been the safest way for him to just continuously act like he didn't know. That's probably the only thing that saved him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but the, the thing that the thing that kills me is, oh, she, like, how dumb do you have to be? Bleach is one of the strongest right. <laughs> like, cleaners in, in, in any household. That shit is so strong. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The minute like, you even damn, open the you bottle, you can mix you... bleach with other stuff, and it's still it's you strong. Don't even, strong. Look, you don't, all you got to do is open the bottle, and you can smell it. Just in general, like, yeah. that's just dumb. I mean, but you know, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. He played it. He played. He played this part and he played that shit. He said, no, we're going to wait till we get back to the States. Right. No, that's right. And then I got all this evidence. Okay. I'm going to get you. Now, she I don't know. That. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if she was American or somebody that he met over there. Oh, you know what I mean? Over there at the she country. She probably that wanted his she money in. if he was in, in the he, he in the military. Yeah. 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 Of course, you know she wanted that money. Right. Yeah, she wanted that military money. She probably had another man dingo. She, she probably did. <laughs> yeah. Really? Now she ain't got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Now she, she got nothing. She, now she ain't nothing but getting scissored. I'm about to say she got all those tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, now she in prison eating tacos sideways. <laughs> 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 she, in si she eating sideways tacos. I hate y'all. You, know, <laughs> you know what that is, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With all the sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get my nerves. <laughs> is this sour cream or is this a yeast infection? Oh, wow. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, man. Yo, yo, yo. T, you a bad influence, T. Look, See? I didn't even yo, say nothing this time. We didn't even Look, get to the comments yet. It was not me. Look, don't be trying to put me in that. All right, here, let's go to the comments. So, so. Comment number one I said literally one of the strongest smelling products in many households. <laughs> Ain't that what we said? Ninety percent of people already know that. Yeah. Like, why but would you don't. use that? She obviously I'm don't. Like, hello. So, so we got uh comment number one. No, I'm sorry, comment number two. We already did number one. Comment number two. If you know that's a loved one who is attempting to unalive you, how do you sleep under the same roof? Facts. I would right. be afraid to even Facts. drink or eat anything right. there. I'm not I laying next to you. I would be afraid to sleep there. Yes. That's <laughs> why I said. Hell no. Look, but that's why I was saying like he was probably safe by letting her continue to do continues to do that way because yeah. she would have found another means. She definitely yeah. would have. Yeah. Or yeah. less or less, you know, he probably like, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna eat." He probably would throw her food away probably. Yeah. and probably already had some. And that's a shame. You know, I mean, probably, probably to keep to keep uh, her from noticing that he knew. Right, he right. had to play it off like he's living regular life. Yeah. Because if she if he would have not slept with her, say a week in a row, she probably would have been like, "Wouldn't notice something he ain't was up." In the 
bed, he must know. So yeah. uh, he probably had to do that to see. Or, or even better, yeah, I'm sure he probably had to be like, oh, I'm not feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you got to play it, you really got to play it. Yeah, like, oh, for man, how my long? Stomach, this was going on for a long time. With me. Oh, you know, Your I'm stomach going to gonna be messing doctor. with you every day for what? Just more than six months straight. Yeah, you know, I bet she was like, oh, I almost got him there. I almost yeah, got him so there. I how did he eat? Like if they were supposed to be eating together as a family, like how? I'm going to cook man. tonight, babe. I'm going to just, I'm going to cook every night. You know what? <laughs> I love you that much. And I'm going to just, I'm going to cook. You, you right. work hard. So you just sit on there, you know, on the couch, put your feet up. Yeah, I got mm-hmm. this. It, listen, you better make it. I'd be like, Shit, you want a cup of coffee? <laughs> I made two. <laughs> hey, you take you take this sip right here. I made two. One for me, one for you. I don't want no coffee today. <laughs> I got this wine. Drink, bitch. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> I got this wine and it's real strong. It's real, real strong. Knock you I, off I your. I'll drink some decaf tea. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got that too. <laughs> Look, El Boogie Thomas, I ate at work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you ain't gonna work your elbow. Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what are we go to? Let's go. Last comment. So last comment says, "Be polite and make her a cup of coffee." <laughs> Ain't that what I said? <laughs> Ain't that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, I would be. Two cups and that. I would be making her everything. I'd be in. Not, listen, I'm, I'm injecting bleach in uh, Snickers. Hey, girl, you want this Snickers right here? It look fresh. It ain't open. I mean, this tastes a little weird. Don't worry about it. It's because I got it from the dollar store. I'm being inspired. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like, what quick say? I'm fasting. <laughs> Fax. <laughs> Fax. <laughs> yeah, look, let me tell you something. You mess with me. She be like, oh, come on, let's get busy now. We don't get busy. I'm running back. I, I put, I, I put, I put some too much energy for me. I would just would have just left. Sorry. Oh, man. Listen, make sure you drop oh, a like, drop a comment. Like, Y'all comment, tell us what you think. <laughs> anyway, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate We will see y'all next week. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank yes, you, man. everybody. Definitely kept it popping all night. Yeah. Hey, yeah, we man. all over the place, y'all. Yeah. So make sure you like, subscribe, and all those other channels. And That's right. That's Tell right. Tell us what y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We are out of here, man. We Listen, we love y'all, man. Peace. Deuces. Good Bye. night. Peace. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's let Peanut take it home one more time. Tune in to Bistro Podcast. Oh.